Hello everybody, welcome back to another Willy's Wonderland video, and today I'm going to be ranking all the Willy's Wonderland animatronics, all eight of the animatronics from my personal favourite to my personal least favourite. Before I count down this list, let me just say a couple of wee things before we get started. Number one, this should be obvious, this is my opinion, so please don't get mad at me simply because my opinion is different than yours. And while on the topic of that, please let me know your opinion, if you like, of your ranked list of all eight animatronics from best to worst in the comments below. And secondly of all, it's worth noting that this video is going to have a lot of spoilers to the movie, it's going to show a lot of scenes, I'm going to be talking about a lot of scenes, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, I wouldn't recommend watching this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to the list. Kickstarting this list with my personal favorite animatronic from Willy's Wonderland. So, my personal favorite animatronic to Willy's Wonderland goes to Gus the Gorilla. I know he has such a small role in the movie, but yet he's still my favorite animatronic from the movie. Number one is because of his design. It's a gorilla. Gorilla was actually one of my favorite animals, and it still is. It has been for a very long time. I just like gorillas. And also the bathroom scene with the Gus the Gorilla versus Nicolas Cage, the janitor, that was a great fight. That was a really, really good fight. His voice lines is good. I love his voice. It's like kind of a mixture of like, ha ha, happy, funny mascot and like evil demonic animatronic. It's a really good voice. And of course, the bathroom scene is really good as well. There's also much more to be desired about the design of Gus Gorilla other than the fact that he's a gorilla. Well, first of all, is his awesome hat and his tie as well. That looks really nice. And also the fact that he has green fur. That's a nice little touch as well. So overall, my favorite animatronic from the Wiz one Wonderland movie is Gus Gorilla. Would have been cool if he had a few extra scenes. Sad that he had to die off second, however. But oh well, better than nothing. And that fight, as, as I brought up before, it was a really good fight. Alright, so my second favorite animatronic from Willy's Wonderland would be Willy the Weasel himself. Yep, that's right, good old Willy the Weasel. So number one, his designs. You've got the, his design's just really cool. Orange Weasel, he's got the wee propeller hat, he's got the overalls. It's just a great design. Number two, the voices. The, that's probably the best voice in the movie. I really like the voice acting of Willy. It really, really, really fits the character. It really does. And what else? Oh, the final fight. Yeah, the scenes with Willy. There was a lot of scenes. Well, most of them was just him sitting on the stage. But I liked the one we did the performances, like Six Little Chickens. That was really cool. And then, of course, the final battle. That was also one of my favorite scenes from the entire movie. When the janitor went against Willy. That truly was a good fight, and I loved it. Especially when, he rip when the janitor just epically rips off Willy's head at the end. That's really, really cool and if this was actually a list like if i was talking about the cartoon versions of them rather than the animatronic versions willy would de definitely be my number one for the cartoon versions i really like the design of the cartoon willy and also the animatronic de design is really good as well It'd be second favorite i really love how just sinister and evil he looks and then you've got like the friendly version of willy before all the evil suicide ritual stuff happens and jerry all that stuff you know that willy that one just looks more friendly and it still looks really good as well i really love how they perfected the design of willy the animatronic trunk the evil version into being like a demonic animatronic they perfected that design Taking a spot for my third favorite Willy's Wonderland animatronic would be Tito the Turtle. So, of course, his design, it's really good, especially animatronic form. I don't like him as much in cartoon form, but I really love his animatronic form. I love his, his eyes really look animatronic-ish. And I love his design with the, the fact that he's a Spanish turtle, okay? That's pretty epic, if you ask me. The mustache, the big sabrero hat kind of thingy, that's pretty epic. And the scenes with him as well, and the voice, the fact that he actually talks in Spanish is really cool. And yeah, it's pretty funny as well. He's got some good voice lines like A my balls and stuff like that. Actually, some pretty good voice lines and ah uh, shit right before he dies. And he's also got some um, great scenes, of course. So the one whenever he kills Dan in the room with a flicker and ice, he's teleporting all over the place. That is a really good scene. And then also the part where he kills Evan and then Liv just gets the gun and starts beating it without even shooting. That's a really good scene. And also the end scene as well when he's knocked over. He's like the final death and then it's his head on the ground and it zooms in and that's the end of the movie. I that was a really good way to tie in into it and make sure that everyone gets killed except for the janitor and lives so there we go tito turtle first spot up next for my number four spot would be Artie the alligator so of course starting off with the design i really like his design animatronics form not as much but the cartoon form it would be probably my second favorite uh, after willie i really like the cartoon version of Artie. i just think it looks really cool and then the design of Artie is just really good it looks pretty creepy and the way he just kind of squints his eyes sometimes that's awesome and uh, you know the 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 artist kind of accessories and the outfit and all that stuff and then of course you've got the scenes now the scenes of him are really good not too many 
but there are a good few of course the one where he's chasing Liv in the vent that's a really good scene and it's very intense and then like when she gets out and he's about to bite her but just about and then she survives and then the scene where he gets a kill there's Kathy and Bobby having sex and he interrupts it so oh so rudely and just starts tearing into Bobby and kills them both and then the scene and janitor just comes in and just gets his jaw and I splits it that was a really good death scene now one thing that was bringing it down a little bit would probably be the lack of a voice you know it's a bit harder to relate to him because he's silent the whole thing already uh, sadly didn't have a voice so up next for the number fifth spot would be siren sarah now siren sarah's design i really like it it's really creepy the normal one i actually think the normal one would be creepier than the like demon kind of form where she's got like the mouth like that i actually think the normal one would actually be a little bit creepier and now with the scenes there are a lot of scenes it seems to be actually the main character of the movie despite it being willie's wonderland siren sarah seemed to have the most scenes for example she killed texan head jed sorry at the end by blowing up the car there's also the one where she's in the hallway and janitor just punches her alongside tito so there's also the one where she's killing dan she and tito both team up to kill dan there's also the scene where she, Cammy and her like double team in the genre, but they both get destroyed and there's also a few more like there's one where she's wandering outside right before she blows up the car all right, so now we're down to the final three. So my sixth favorite would be Nighty Knight. Now, first of all, starting with his design, it's like, you know, exactly what you'd expect from Knight. He's got the armor, the helmet. He's got big bushy eyebrows, which cover uh, his eyes. So you never actually get to see his eyes. He's got a giant nose, like a penis. And he's also got a big beard as well. However, Nighty Knight doesn't have very much screen time, but when he does, though, they are good scenes. For example, after the Six Little Chicken song, he just unexpectedly stabs Aaron. That was actually one of the most surprising scenes. I really like that scene. And then, of course, when the janitor fights him, it's also the part where Liv is, like, hiding from him and he's smashing the table. That was also a good scene as well. Now, sadly, he doesn't have a voice either, so that might be why he's down kind of low on the list. I really like his design, but he does lack in a voice as well as some scenes. Alright, so now we're down to the final two. So, my second least favorite character would be Aussie. So let's start with the design. Well, obviously there's not much to say about this design. Now, I obviously like it, but you know, it is just an ostrich. The scenes, very limited scenes. Only like really one scene, really, apart from the ones where he's like on the stage, which is when he's fighting the janitor. That was a really good scene where he's, he actually has voice line and the voice line's good. The voice really fits him. And then the fight. Now, he did die a bit quickly and it was kind of a bit of a static fight. It was more than just standing in the same spot, but it was a really good fight though. What's bringing him down in this list would probably be because of number one, the lack of like scenes. There's only like really one scene. And also how his design isn't as creative as some of the other animatronics. It does literally just look like an aw ostrich with nothing else really added onto it. All right, so now for my personal least favorite animatronic from Willy's Wonderland. Now that reward has got to go to Kami. Now I have absolutely nothing against Kami. I really like it, but you know, of course with a group of such good characters, one of them would have to take the, like, the least spot. But the design, I really do like the design very creative though it, i don't find it as appealing personally as some of the other animatronics but i really like the addition of like the tongue that was really cool that was actually really cool the scenes are really good actually like in the arcade and when she tries to trick chris which he kind of stupidly fell for it, but it's a horror movie and in horror movies people always make shit choices so i did like the scenes for example when janitor smashes her against the arcade machines also one where her and um Simon Sarah are teaming and then he kills them both. That was also cool. He like pure twists her head around. Yeah, good scenes. And then the voice is actually really, really good. I really like the cameo voice. It actually is a really good voice. So there you have it. All Willy's Wonderland characters ranked from best to worst, in my opinion. If you want, you can leave your list in the comments below from your favorite to least favorite if you'd like to. And anyways, that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.